Hi, I'm James, and this tutorial, or uh, these sets of tutorials, is aimed at rigging this cartoon character. So we can see that we've got this um, snail character, so it's an unrealistic cartoony character. So it's a snail with arms and a mouth and nose. And um, we're going to go through pretty much every single step from start to finish to rigging this character. So this is aimed at um, people new to rigging, but also aimed at um, advanced riggers because we can go through some quite advanced methods towards the end. So we're going to start off with the building blocks of a rig. So we're going to be adding in things like IK and FK. So we're in FK at the moment. Then we'll add in the IK and we'll add the IK FK switch so we can switch between these two. and as you can see we're going to add in a squashing stretch as well so again starting off really simple um, building blocks the IK FK then we're going to add stretchy IK we're also going to have stretchy FK later on so the animator has full control over how they want to use this rig and then we're going to start using ribbon spines to get some nice squashing stretch so get some nice stretchy spines and tails so especially for a cartoon character we'll probably have some quite large shapes in this so we're going to go through how we can set up a ribbon spine to deal with this so it works quite well for stretching we're going to go through um, adding the ribbon spines to things like the antennas so up here we have the antennas we've got the same thing with the squash and stretch but then we're going to start to add a few more advanced things like we have the tangent to control how this uh, ribbon spine is actually going to deform and then we have a few things like sine waves so we can get some weird sort of cartoony curvy animation along here so again we'll be starting from the very basics moving it up to some quite advanced rigging and quite advanced racking of deformation so adding things up here we've got the sine wave we've got the stretchy rig all working together but again we're going to approach this in a really simple way we're going to do it step by step working in little sections and slowly building this rig together so again don't be worried if you're quite new to rigging because we're going to tackle this in small little chunks and also we're going to have a few things like adding different follows so we can get this to follow the chest so you can see rotating the chest control the upper body is going to move along along with the arms as well but then we have the ability to not follow the chest so we can set this follow chest attribute to zero and we can see how now it is independent so it can be animated independently so we're just going to go through each section setting up this entire rig and as I said we're going to go from start to finish so we're going to start off with just the mesh of this rig with no control curves, no rig set up go through each section from start to finish and also the skinning of this character and we're going to go through how to clean, keep a clean rig so you can see here it's all in one side uh, one group we've got groups for different sections of the rigs to make this nice and easy for us and also if I bring up the Windows render and editors hypershade we're going to go through a quite a bit of node based rigging so for example here, here um, if I select one of these we have the stretchy system for the left arm and if you're quite new to rigging this might look quite confusing to begin with but we're going to go through the real basics at the start go through how we can create these node graphs and for the start up we start with this start section of the stretchy arm and then in later tutorials we we'll go through adding more advanced controls to this stretchy rig and the same for the rest of the rig so again we're starting in small chunks but building this um, rig up from the ground okay so that's just an introduction to the rig that we're going to be working off so this is the final result of the tutorial so I've gone ahead and recorded the tutorials and this is the end 
result of the rig. We don't have any facial rigging inside this tutorial, but with this rig now complete, I'm going to be recording the next uh, tutorial series, which is going to be setting up a facial rig for this character. So, if you're interested in facial rigging, um, if you stay tuned, and we're going to have a few more tutorials with this character. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comments below. If you have any trouble or any errors popping up, again, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. Or hopefully, someone else watching this tutorial, if they find a solution to your problem, they'll be nice enough to leave a comment as well. But again, if you can't find any help, you can always message me here on YouTube as well. And don't be too worried if things in the tutorial don't work, because some areas we're going to leave out. For example, um, the forearm twist on these arms here. You can see by twisting the arm we're getting this forearm twist in the arm. Now we're going to leave that out from the start and then we're going to go in how to add it in later. So I've seen a lot of students, as they start rigging, they'll sometimes forget to add a forearm joint or they leave it out. So I'm going to go through how you, if you have skipped that phase, how you can add that in later on. And then things like the IKFK switch. Here you can see as we rotate these controls, the IKFK switch is going to blend between the two seamlessly. So we're going to go through how we can set this up so it's seamlessly. And if in the earlier tutorials it's, it's snapping along, don't worry, we're going to go through and explain why that happens and how we can fix that. And then also we're going to go through a little bit of mail scripting. So how we can uh, use mail scripting to switch between IK and FK. And again, don't be too worried if you're quite new or if you've never used mail scripting before, because the mail scripting is it, isn't essential for this training kit. And any mail scripts we use are going to be in the description below. Uh, there should be a link below that you can use to download the scripts that we use. So we're going to go through uh, writing the scripts in this. So again, having an IKFK switch through mail, but again, we're also going to do a normal IKFK switch that's tied to a control. So if you're not comfortable with mail, you don't like mail, or if you want a rig that has no mail in it, we're going to go through both methods of setting up the mail script and setting it up through nodes as well. So that's just an in introduction to this character, and I hope you have fun watching these tutorials and I hope you learn something.